Hello everyone, my name is Michelle and welcome back to Life from the Fish Tank. Today we are going to be going over what August monthly looks like and we are going to be setting up September's. So first, August, I noticed something. We were much busy and I did a lot more the last half of the week than I did the first half. I had to use a lot of the extra stickers and the deco stuff that came with the kit so I'm very happy that it did. If you remember I did get the Jump To It designs kit. This is what I have left so not a whole lot so that was nice. This is what it looks like. Just the highlights I started my master's program. I went on a date with husband. My friend's birthday was the seventh, so we went to Lavender, which is a um, spa place here. First day of virtual school on the tenth. Survived the week at Dairy Queen. The fifteenth, I got free Dutch because their machine wasn't working very well, and the lady at the window went to go get her manager someone to help and she came back and was like here have your dutch because we had to you had to wait so long so i got free dutch movie night with my husband we did start bringing in our special needs kids it is virtual for all of our kids at school but the special needs kids, high risk kids, foster home kids, the ones that need a little bit extra who are on IEPs or 504s, they are allowed to come on campus and get a little extra help. So we started bringing them in on the 18th. Had Starbucks with my friend on Thursday. Survived the week at Cold Stone. I got my hair cut and colored. I look a lot different, so yeah. You're going to be in for a surprise the first time you see me on camera. I passed my math class. It was pumpkin spice latte launch day. I guess this was the earliest that it has ever launched. I personally don't drink pumpkin spice lattes, but my husband really likes them, so I go in and get them for him. Had Dairy Queen and... Goodbye, August. I don't think we're going to be doing anything Saturday, Sunday. Just I'm going to be staying at home and doing homework. So this month is pretty much done. This, I really loved how July's turned out. So I tried to do it again in August. It was a little bit harder to do. I only came up with two goals. And I didn't even do this, but it's okay. The quote... Chris said that I managed you. I said, what did I do? He says, you made me little, or you made me laugh when I was little, when I was sad. I'm not entirely sure why that's a bad thing, but he didn't like it. Of the things we did, unplugged for a day. I do that um, every couple of weeks. I like doing that. I have a backyard barbecue while we barbecued in the backyard. Our backyard is kind of lacking. All we have is dirt. They don't... When you buy a new house, at least in our subdivision, they don't do any landscaping in the back, so it's basically just dirt. Made homemade ice cream. We did it in the bags where you put a bag inside of a bag, and then the outside bag has ice cream salt, and the inside bag has the ice cream materials. And also the mason jar where you just shake it up. Liked both. The bag is definitely a lot easier, but... Played in the rain. I do live in Arizona. It was supposed to be monsoon season, but we haven't gotten a lot of rain, to be honest. But every time we did, Jared would like go running outside and like just stand in the rain and let it fall on him. Husband and I also liked listening to the rain, so if it was at night, we opened up all the doors so we could hear it. And then Corona update, we are still under a mandatory mask order. We started school distance learning we are going to be coming back to school soon, hopefully. The plan is September 21st. We'll see if it actually happens. The kits, um, I don't remember. Let's 
So this one is from, shoot, I don't know. I really like it though. I chose it because it was my back to school weekend. It looked a little bit more adulty and less kids. So it has a girl on the laptop. So yes. Next, this one is from Mary Bell. It is too hot because it is so hot in Arizona. I love the colors and the gold foiling and the girl on the design. I just, it's very, very pretty. I really enjoyed it. Next is from Shine Sticker Studio, her Luna and Star camping kit. I chose this because it was our first day of school on the 10th and our theme of the week is Camp Hawks for Life. Our mascot is a hawk so that's what we did and I thought it looked very campy and very much going along with the spirit of the school. Next is from Nicole Alexa Designs. It is her daisy kit with gold foiling. No real reason why I chose this one other than it is different than this one. I like to have mine look a little different. These are kind of similar but look different so that when I flip through them they have their own distinct personalities so to say. So daisies are my favorite flower so I was happy to do that. And then we have this week, which I don't know the kit I'm going to use yet. I think I better figure that one out. But we are going to be doing September, and I do have the kit for that one. I ordered this a couple months ago, I think. It is Lexi Kelly Designs, her September wishes. She does a pre-sell on her kits now, so when they come on sale, you have to get them or probably not going to have them again. I really like this because these are the colors that I decorate for the September months. Purples and teals and neutrals like that. So I knew this would go so, so well. So these are the um, monthly headers. I don't know what you call it, something like that. This one goes down here some flags and a washi strip. This is an add-on that just some boxes to fill up some space. This is the sticker for here in case you have some extra spots there. Some more boxes fill this up. The date covers and holidays. You have back to school Labor Day, Rosh Hashanah, Pages Day, Grandparents Day, Day of Peace, Hello Autumn and Yon Kapoor. And then the side bar, you can choose either a deco one like this, or you can choose a more functional one that has like spots where you can write things in. I always like the deco because I don't use my side bar. So yes, this is the kit. And then we're going to be doing a little bit of this. I've done some pre-planning here. This, of course, is going to go with the stickers. This is from the summer ones. I think normally I would do this for fall, but I think some of the summer ones I'm actually going to be able to do, like, well, none of these. But go to the movies. Movie theater is supposed to open up in September. I'm very excited to do that. We are going to be going on vacation this month. And I guess that's about it. Amusement parks aren't open. Water slides aren't open. Breakfast in bed we don't do. Go bowling. I don't know if our bowling alley is open either. And these are just different quotes. I'm going to have to see what we have for fall. Buried toes in the sand, we're not going to make it anywhere near a beach. Water parks are closed. Camping could, but a lot of places around here have been damaged by fire. So, like, Mount Lemon isn't open yet. Collect seashells, again, not going to watch a movie outside. I guess we could, but no, we don't have a hammock. Family summer party. 
I like the idea, but I think that my boys would not like doing that. And go to a lake. We do have a lake here, and I want to go there, but we'll see if we will be able to make it there. But that's enough of me rambling. Let's get planning. So this is what September looks like with just the kit laid down. Of course, I'm going to go through later on as things happen, lay them down. I did white out all of the holidays uh, because I don't know how I want to do it. Like first day of August, I might make that really big. International Day of Peace is also my son's birthday, so I'm probably going to just highlight my son's birthday. Labor Day, I don't know what I'm going to do. Grandparents Day, stuff like that. So until I know what we're doing that day and how I want to lay it down, then I'm just going to wait and do it then. So that is why I did do that. I can throw this piece away and I have some flags, a washi strip, all of these boxes and this page to work with when plans start coming in. So, of September, I'm just going to leave this blank for now until some things happen. In here, I have been using these two books to lay down the stickers. This is the monthly collection edition 5 and this is the monthly collection edition so I do like pulling from both of these sticker kits they are very similar in the color schemes and everything so it's always going to be purple for this one and then in here it has so this is more pumpkin-y this is more like peacock looking so we also have another quote there I can lay down so sometimes some have more than others like this is October's, this is November's. I don't think that I have anything in January. These are of course still available in case you want to check them out on Erin Condor's website yourself. I did put down January and the quote in this for something, but these are pretty much what we're starting off with to put down these stickers here, so. Let's go back to September. 
September and September. So I just lay down these up here for my goals. Oh my, what are my goals for this month? I want to finish my psych class. It, the program that I am in, it is self-paced, so if it takes you a week to finish the class and, you're, and you can pass everything that they would need you to do, then you're done. If it takes you longer, then that's okay too. So I do want to give myself a month to finish psych. I have to write two papers, a lot of theories and theorists and all that, so it'll take me a little bit longer to do. I want to... Hmm. I want to do family game night again. I we kind of stopped that. With everything going on, I don't know. I think that now would be the best time to do family game night, but apparently we didn't think so. So we did that and hmm. I don't know. I'm just going to stick with those two for now. See what pops up later on. I do have a couple days left before I have to really figure out what I want to do. But these two things. Also, Grandparents Day. I don't normally do anything for Grandparents Day, so maybe one of my goals will be to actually buy a card and send it to my in-laws for Grandparents Day. They would probably enjoy that. I would like to exercise more, but I know that writing it that down as a goal isn't going to make it happen. I want to walk at night. Kind of stop walking at night. I'm not entirely sure why. I think just going back to work and then my husband has been working a lot more too so we just we're tired when we get home but I do want to walk more at night again I think it helps me be healthier so I have that the quote here I don't know what I want to put yet so I'm going to leave that blank and then here I think I want to do no spend So I'm going to make this no spend maybe, oh, I'll have to figure out how many days because Monday I always pick up stuff, Fridays I always do stuff, and then maybe Saturday I can, Thursday too because I pick up pizza. So four days a week, four out of, maybe, hmm. Maybe I can cut down on one of those so that I only spend three days a week instead of four days a week. I don't know. I'll have to figure it out. But I'm going to spend more days not spending money. So, yes, I think that is going to be it, I think. I really like this kit I think it's going to be perfect it's so pretty and definitely my colors for fall so yes next week I'm going to be doing my monthly sticker haul stuff and giveaway so stay tuned for that next Saturday and yeah thank you guys so much for watching I do really really appreciate it give it a thumbs up. Let me know how you decorate. Do you decorate in September for fall and do you change your color schemes for the month? Like I do the purples and teals for September. October I do Halloween and November I do a more traditional color set. So do you guys do that too or is it just me? It could very well just be me. So yeah. Let me know. Give it a like if you have not subscribe and I will see you again in my next video thank you so much for watching
ไป